Uh, okay, in this tutorial, in this tutorial, uh, we are going to create uh, this kind of shading device. So this one has each one has a kind of like rounded cutting paper, and then by doing that, we can uh, create uh, this kind of shadow pattern uh, underneath. You will see here below. Uh, okay, so uh, for this tutorial, then actually we are going to use basically more 3D uh, component. And then uh, we'll use uh, two surfaces, which is on top and on, on the bottom. And actually for as a mod, a pattern object, uh, we are going to use this kind of a rounded uh, flat sheet. And also bounding box is the wrapping or rounding box. Okay, so I will start uh, from scratch. Okay, so I will delete everything. And this one too. Okay, I will start with a uh, uh, wireframe view. Okay, so the... Um, the shading device we are going to work on is actually a uh, 32 inch by and 36 inch rectangle uh, plane. And so I will connect this one into uh, Grasshopper using surface component. So I type surface. And then I will simply select uh, the surface using set one surface. Uh, using right mouse button here and set one surface. And, uh, and actually, we need a one more surface for top one. So I'll simply copy and pay, and then I'll move it a little bit upside. So this will be our second surface. But before doing that, I will divide this first. Uh, divide the first surface using divide the surface, and I will connect the selected surface here. Uh, this one, the default setting is ten for U count and another ten for V count. So I double click on the campus and type uh, 6 and I connect it both to both U and V so we divide a surface uh, uh, either uh, for U and V uh, direction U, uh, we are going to use 6 number 6 here and then actually I will copy select everything and then control C and control V and paste it and simply I select I will, I will replace the surface component uh, I will set the top surface here. So now we have two surfaces and then both are divided by 6x6 six six modules. And after doing this, uh, I'm going to use uh, Morph 3D. Double click here. Uh, and then I type simply a Morph 3D. And then I will connect the points to grid 1 and second points to grid 2. And then we need to uh, prepare pattern objects and bounding objects. So first pattern, I will select, uh, I will extract parameter. And also, I will also do uh, extract parameter for the bounding object. And so let's do something simple one first. Uh, so I simply, I will draw uh, some kind of curve here. And then I will, uh, then I will actually, I will draw another rectangular outside. And I simply I will extrude, uh, I will extrude these two curves. Uh, make sure that your solid is yes, and you may not use both sides yes too. So I will just kind of add on height. And if you take a look at it, uh, this one have a kind of uh, empty hole in the rectangle. Uh, and then we are going to apply this one, this pattern into uh, these modules. So to get actually bounding objects, actually the easiest method, the easiest way is simply uh, select this uh, surface we made and then simply use bounding uh, box command. Then actually it will create a box bound, uh, bounding it. Actually, actually you don't need to make bounding objects when you have something box-like shape, but I just show it uh, for demonstration purpose. So for pattern object, I will set uh, one geometry and then I will set uh, this <coughs> extruded surface. And actually, you see that this one is applied. It so simply actually we don't we also need to set the bounding box, but actually uh, for in this case it's a little bit un unnecessary. But I simply do that for your understanding. What does the bounding object do to show what does the bounding object do? So and then I will bake it. Um, okay, so okay, so I will cancel it. So this is done. I will simply click it, and then I will uh, bake it, and I'll also group them. And I put it in layer zero one, so I baked it, and then I sell, I can select to group it, and then this is my our uh, this is my first attempt. A little bit move it up. How does the shadow look like? And then I will add a uh, bottom plane to see the shadow, and then I will just change the uh, uh, view to artistic, 
then actually you see the kind of the shadow pattern shadow pattern underneath it so it's something like this one so this one is our first attempt so let's a little bit improve this one so I will delete <coughs> this one and then oh, I, so instead I will kind of uh, so first thing I will do the same thing but I will it, for in this case I will change the surface so the first one instead of using simple uh, simply plain surface uh, I'm just move it here uh, actually I rather I just copy that and actually I will a little bit manipulate it uh, I'll change the view, uh, view style wireframe I'll click this one uh, point on this one will uh, turn on the control points at four corner so actually I select uh, these two corners and I simply uh, drag it and move it by doing by doing so I kind of create a kind of slightly curved surfaces and then I we need the uh, two surfaces so I'll copy this one and then also little, move it up a little bit too so I prepare instead of uh, preparing two surfaces for our input now I create a slightly curved two surfaces <coughs> so here I select surface the first surface the top one and for the second one I will select the bottom surface then now you kind of you see that this one is actually using the same uh, module and but this one is applied to curved surface in the space so now I will bake it one more time and I put it in layer 0 2 and also I will group them and then let's see how does it look like and let's see and let's see the shadow pattern of this panel underneath so I'll change to this one as artistic view then actually this is the shadow pattern you will see uh, actually you'll probably see the white one I'll slightly move a little bit up I use the move function so, you, so this is the shadow pattern that is created by uh, uh, this pattern. So actually the third example what I used one is actually I used a little bit different module. So uh, let's say that I also used a bounding box. So here I will simply, uh, so instead I kind of, okay, so first I will draw a box as a reference. So this, this box will be our actual reference. Uh, this one is our bounding object. So let's say we have this one and here I'm going to draw two curves which is first one I'm just uh, using curve contra contra point curve so I'll draw a curve using four points on the bottom and then also I'm using uh, another four another two points on the bottom and two points on top I create these two curves and then basically I loved to create a surface between two, these two curves and then actually I offset this surface to create uh, a, a kind of poly surface with a thickness. So here I type distance is 0 0.1 then actually this one is actually three dimensional surface and to use this one actually we can use this bounding box but it's not really correct so actually instead I delete it and I need I create a new bounding box I select this poly surface and I type bounding box so this one will be our uh, bounding object. So here I will reset pattern object uh, select one geometry and this one and I will use uh, set one geometry for bounding box and actually you'll see that uh, this one the our new uh, newly applied pattern is actually created here uh, that and actually that the problem is actually the top one is actually our bottom surface so actually you see the upside is down so in this case I will simply uh, replace so this one the surface one is top one so instead I'm doing that but select the bottom surface instead and the second one I will select the top surface then actually you have this one so I will uh, bake it uh, so I'll bake it and I put it in the layer 0 2 and I also group them and then if you I will just simply move it out and this is the second shadow pattern we created here and let's say I just simply uh, move it out and let's see the, how does the shadow pattern look like uh, changing artistic and actually this is the shadow pattern I just created with that so you can fabricate this one either uh, both a 3D uh, printer or either you also you can use a laser cutter uh, by unwrapping the surface okay thanks